15. Brophy ignition. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We have engine ignition. 2, 1, and, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS-8 mission for the United States Air Force. Pressure's looking good. Burn profiles on the four solid rocket motors also looking good. Now passing one minute into flight. Approximately 30 seconds remaining in the solid rocket motor burn. Delta IV is now 12 nautical miles in altitude, 10, nautical, 10 miles downrange, traveling at 2,000 miles per hour. One minute, 20 seconds in. Standing by for SRM burnout shortly. And we have solid rocket motor burnout, standing by for separation. And we have good indication of separation of all four solid rocket motors. The Delta IV rocket now weighs just half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,000 pounds per second. One minute, 55 seconds into flight. Roger. The upper stage ACS press valve has been opened. Two minutes into flight, now passing Mach 5. Delta 4 is now 35 nautical miles downrange, 50 miles, I'm sorry, correction, 40 miles in altitude, 55 miles downrange, traveling at four, over 4,000 miles per hour. Two minutes, 20 seconds into flight. RS-68 continuing to perform well. Fuel injector and chamber pressure is looking good. Two minutes, 30 seconds in. Vehicle body rates remaining stable. Two minutes, 40 seconds in. And the upper stage engine has begun the blocks pre-start sequence. One minute to Miko. Three minutes into the flight, now passing Mach 10. RS-68 continuing to perform well. Fuel injector and chamber pressures look good. Standing by for payload fairing jettison momentarily. And we have indication of payload fairing jettison. Three minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Three minutes, 30 seconds in. Vehicle is now 80 nautical miles in altitude, 190 miles downrange distance, traveling at 8,900 miles per hour. Three minutes, 40 seconds into flight. Standing by for booster throttle down shortly in preparation for MECO. And booster has begun to throttle down in preparation for MECO as expected. Standing by for MECO. And we have Miko, first stage engine cutoff, standing by for separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. Heads is deploying, standing by for main engine start. And we have main engine start on the upper stage engine. Chamber pressures and injector pressures look good. This is the first of three planned burns for today's mission. First burn should last approximately 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Vehicle body rates have uh, recovered well after initial startup transients. 
RL10 continuing to perform well. Chamber pressures and injector pressures look good. This is Delta Mission Control at L plus 4 minutes, 57 seconds. We've just heard Patrick Moore report the successful execution of the early events of tonight's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. The Delta IV second stage and WGS satellite are traveling over the Atlantic Ocean in a southeasterly direction away from the coast of Florida. The mission is now in the first of two planned RL-10 engine burns. This burn will last approximately 16 minutes. <laughs> 